So I'm going to show you how to set up your project. Now one of the things you're going to notice is that if you have Unreal Engine at home, that it's going to be differently set up than at school. So what we've done is at school we've isolated just the editor file because Unreal Engine comes packaged with a marketplace that also includes a bunch of games including Fortnite and school boards don't really want those to be available for obvious reasons because they want students to be in school learning about things that will you know benefit them. And I think Unreal Engine is an absolutely incredible tool and that's one of the reasons why they bundled various games including Fortnite with it in the hopes that people would those games would catch on and yeah some of them caught on. So one of the problems with that is now it's hard to get Unreal Engine which is the original thing that everybody would go to uh, and that's what got Fortnite to be popular. But the, the really incredible thing is this tool that uh, can be used to uh, create uh, your own games just like Fortnite, Roblox, etc. A lot of those games were designed using this actual tool. So we're going to start by creating a project. I've already opened the, the project panel. You're going to see there's two tabs here, the C++ tab, which is coding that's used in game design or in this type of game. Uh, but we're going to use what's called a blueprint. So blueprint is a lot like, it's called visual scripting. It's a lot like what we use in construct. If you had the opportunity to take the grade 10 class, you would have used construct and seen how to do that. And blueprints work a lot the same way, but a little more complex, but uh, very similar. So we're going to select that. We're going to select first person. Now we will have another video to show you how to remove the gun because we do not want to have that uh, accessible in, in a school. You, you know, the projectile can still fly out of your hand, which is fine, but we'll be removing the gun. Uh, and so here you have a bunch of settings. And so we're going to create a desktop game, max, maximum. Well, I usually go scalable 2D, 3D to lower the quality because our video cards at school are not the best. And I always include the starter content. So that's a really uh, important element. Now here you want to absolutely change the path. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do that. Okay, so do not save it to this because you will not be able to access this. It's very important that you take the time in the beginning uh, to put it on the D drive for people on PCs. Make sure you have a folder, uh, you know, well, we can call it, don't just call it my projects because it's kind of a little too generic. So let's do that again. I'll select uh, D select folder and I'll call it Dubo Unreal okay so my everything will be going in there I'll click create so this is going to create the game and it'll create all the files that are included in this and I'm going to go to my um, file manager and go see what it created so there it is Dubo Unreal and you're going to see there's a few folders um, one that's uh, so here you go. And this is where all your content does actually go. So it's important that you know uh, where the content folder is more than any other. So now it'll also take a minute or two to open the first time. So we're going to wait for that. Okay, so now we have access to the game and you can see that the engine is open. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to settings and we're going to lower the uh, quality because our video cards are not that great. So just click the low button and it should adjust everything. And if it doesn't just, click and you'll see because it's on high, it, it might even be a little bit slow. It's really important that you uh, do that right away. Okay, so now I have the setting, uh, oops, settings are on low. Another thing that you may want to do is reduce the quality of the materials to medium. Um, now I'll leave this up to you. Uh, low is probably, it's probably fine. And we're going to leave the preview rendering uh, to where, it, where it's at. So it doesn't look as good, but uh, it'll be better when you run uh, a more complicated. Uh, you'll often see this shader thing show up. It, you got to let it run. I also find this ultra annoying. So I turn off this blue thing here. Um, and so I'm going to, there's a turn it off button somewhere. Well, there's a lot in here. It's just really powerful. You can learn a lot on your own. And I'm going to actually turn it off. Exit. Okay, so that tutorial now is off. Okay, so one of the things we're going to do is, well, I'm going to, you don't need to save this. It's ready to go for the next time. 
but I want to show you something uh, important. So next time, you how do you open your project? So I'm going to close this. And you can't go to the folder and click on it. You actually have to reopen the Unreal Editor and wait for it to open. So when you go here, you don't click New Project again. You click Projects. And you won't see it because of the way we... So you have to go Browse. And now you can click it. Okay, and now it will open. So that's really important because you don't want to create a new project every time because when, this is massive. The project is massive. So... Uh, you don't want, we have limited space, so it's really important that you only have one project. So there you go. And that's another tip too. The first time you open it, it'll be very slow. Uh, but after that, it'll be quicker. I'll be showing you how to add extra content uh, to your project shortly and a few other tips. If you have any questions, please let me know.